Hi everyone, my name is Hans. I'm the head of growth for wizard.co where we can help you do sales prospecting a whole lot faster using LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, in today's video, I want to show you some techniques that you can use if you're looking for software development leads. So maybe you're running a software development company, you're working in sales for one of these companies, or you're working as a freelancer. With the techniques I'll be showing you in today's video, you should be able to generate a lot of leads using cold email uh, within a couple of hours or worst case scenario within a couple of days. Um, let's jump right in and let's get started. Here we are in uh, LinkedIn Sales Navigator. Now, if you're not familiar with Sales Navigator, just head over to the wizard.co blog, wizard.co slash blog. Uh, there we have some articles there that explain you exactly how to, um, how to set up Sales Navigator, some other tips and tricks, other good strategies. Now, what we want to do first um, is we want to create uh, an account list. So we go in here and we can start creating our account filter. Now, when you're in the software development industry, the most important one that you, uh, that is relevant to you is a technology used one. So, um, what, for example, imagine I'm really strong at PHP. Um, that is what our, our company specializes in or what I as a freelancer specialize in. And I want to uh, work together with companies in the United States that are using PHP, that are working with it. Now, I don't want to work with these big companies because they obviously have a strong team um, and they're not going to outsource anything uh, anytime soon. So then what I'll do is I'll um, I'll make sure that the company headcount is something where uh, where they could potentially be interested, 50, 20, 200, 11, 250. Uh, then again, completely depends on, on how your company is functioning, how your company works. If you're saying, listen, enterprise clients is uh, is a specialty, then you can ignore that device, uh, advice. Then I imagine uh, we've made some really cool stuff, some really cool PHP web applications for the marketing and advertising industry. Maybe you're making dashboards, something, I don't know. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to start adding these to a list. So here, for example, I have a list of um, software uh, with software developer uh, type companies and you want to add that to a list. Now, you can only have 250 companies in one list. That list is full. So once you've added the companies, you can just pick them one by one and say, okay, they, these are companies that would work for us. But for the sake of, of efficiency or working a little bit faster, I would suggest make your, um, your targeting a, a, a little bit more uh, specific. So then you can just simply select all and you can add, uh, you can add them 25 at a time. You can add them to your list. Then once you have a list of companies that, that could potentially be interesting to you, you just head over here and you go to search for leads. And this is where the fun part starts. So this is where you start picking the people that you want to uh, be in contact with. Now, what you'll do is you go here to custom lists and you'll load that list that you just made. I named my software developer list. If you're, um, if you're going to do this at, this at a larger scale, make sure that you keep things nice and organized. Give them some names that, uh, that really help you keep tra track of things. Now, uh, 20,000 total results. So these are then the employees that are working for these companies. Obviously, not every employee there is the right decision maker for you to reach out to. So, for example, we could be going for, um, for people in, um, uh, in engineering or what might be easier in this case is just go after the CTOs or chief technology officers at these smaller companies that could definitely uh, could definitely work. Now, they're not that many, so it doesn't make too much sense. So let's just go. Um, let's go with people uh, that are in engineering and you can play around with this. So here, if you're chief of engineering, chief strategy officer, if you're saying, okay, listen, uh, VP engineering, not something that I want to have, have my, my product, my pitch in front of, then just go ahead and select the title that you think would work for you. If you have the same as what I had and the results are a little bit too small, maybe you can adjust your list a little bit, maybe add some extra companies, or you can just have multiple lists in there. So then you have a thousand companies to choose from rather than 250. Now for the fun part, this is where Wiza helps. What I do, uh, imagine that all these people here, director of engineering, director of platform engineering, I definitely think if I would reach out to these people and say, hey, listen, we can help you where, um, 
we're a development company and um, people are outsourcing their work to us, then what I'll do is I'll just hit export emails with WISA. It will take me to the WISA platform. Now, name again, name your list something that, um, that works for you. So software leads, you can choose how many you'd like. Like export 1,034 or less, and Wiz, I will give you an approximate time of how long that will take to finish. So for the sake of this tutorial, I'll go with 50. And it will just start exporting all your leads in here. It will give you the valid emails. So Wiz only charges if an email is actually valid, validated. If it is 99.5% certain to be the accurate email, that's when you'll uh, when you're charged for it. The risky one, 70% chance to be accurate, you can download for free. And of course, every now and then there's going to be some people from whom we cannot find their email address. Then the next thing you'll do, uh, you'll just download your, uh, your list of leads. It's going to be a nice, neat CSV, email address, first name, last name, and a whole lot of uh, other information that is interesting, that is valuable. And you can use that to drop that into uh, Mailshake or whatever email automation platform that you're using. And then you can reach out a skill, get your, uh, get your pitch in front of those people. Now, if you're not sure exactly what to send, again, just head over to the wizard.co blog. There's a whole lot of information on there, what to send, how to send it. So that's it for this tutorial. I really hope you found it helpful and you'll end up filling your pipeline with uh, software development leads. If you're not sure what to send, as I mentioned earlier, just head over to the blog, wizard.co slash blog forward slash blog. We have a whole lot of information on there that I think will really help you making sure that you're sending the right thing to the right people. And again, let me know in the comments below if you're executing on the strategy and if you found it easy or if there was anything that I could explain a little bit better in the next video. For now, thanks for watching and good luck generating sales. Hi everyone. Yeah. Hi everyone. No, I don't like. Hi everyone. My name is Hans. I am the head of growth for wizard.co where we can help you do sales prospect <laughs> really, really fast as well. So you can go back to doing what it is you do best and let. Wow.